How do you become an SEO professional? Hi, my name is Paul Andre de Vera, the host of the SEO video show. And in this segment, I ask SEO professionals every week on how to become an SEO expert. Check out this week's video. I think people focus way too much on the SEO part and not enough on being a professional. Um, and, and you kind of have to understand there's a difference between expertise and professionalism. They're, they're different. The expertise is like the what, you know, the tactics, what are we doing? The professionalism is more like, you know, the why and the how. Um, like another way to think about it is like, um, you know, expertise is like the tactics you employ or, you know, what you've seen work in the past or, you know, what some guy in front of a whiteboard said last Friday, right? Like you, you need, you need this knowledge to be able to do the work. Um, and getting expert SEO expertise, it's just, you know, it's learning the craft. It's just like anything else. You, you start out, you suck you stick with it, you get better. There's no, you know, magic or mystery. You don't have to do, you know, SEO on your own website, you know, despite what the annoying, uh, you know, SEO gatekeeper, uh, gatekeeper types say, uh, you could just you know, get a job in an SEO agency or, you know, work in the field for a while and, you know, just pay attention. Um, SEO is also huge, right? Well, you don't have to make the mistake of thinking you have to learn it all. There's people that just do, you know, e-commerce or just backlinks or just, you know, the cannabis industry, right? Um, myself, I specialize in, in fintech and security. So there's like many businesses and clients and they all have different needs when it comes to SEO. Um, but, but as I said, I just, I think everyone focuses too much on that stuff. I think they miss the, um, the professionalism part. And so professionalism, <clears throat> I've defined uh, uh, in two, two ways. One is having professional integrity and two is having a professional opinion in an ambiguous situation. So like, um, you know, integrity is, uh, companies they want to hire dependable people and so there's three rules for this you can do what you say you'll, you're going to do that's basic integrity you can meet deadlines and you can say when you don't know something you know basically it's don't be a bullshitter uh that's professional integrity um you know the, the second piece is um having a professional opinion so a professional is somebody who you can go to when things are ambiguous and they will give you their opinion about what you should do think about like you know, medicine or, or, or law, right? There's typically no one right answer. Um, they're ambiguous fields. Um, but instead, a doctor or a lawyer will give you a, a professional opinion. Um, the SEO industry is similar to this. It's, it's, it's unfalsifiable, right? Google is a black box and every website is different. So there's too many variables to say definitively, you know, uh, what the best course of action is in every case. Um, you know, take like an example, what's the best title tag for a page? Well, there could be a couple of different ways to approach that. And one may not be more correct than the other. Or, you know, someone might ask you, you know, do, do I put these canonical you know, links in the HTML uh, head or do I put them in the HTTP headers, you know, I, or both? I have an opinion about that. Or, you know, we've got um, limited dev hours this month because the team is, you know, swamped with product development and we need to compete with, the, with these other teams for resources. Like, what stuff should we focus our limited time on? There, there's not often um, a clear answer to that. And a professional is comfortable coming in and like giving that opinion and saying not just what's best for SEO, but also what's best for the business at this particular moment. So, you know, listen to your client, make an effort to understand their environment and, you know, make a recommendation uh, based on that. And so, you know, professional integrity and having a professional opinion, I think a real SEO pro should be able to, to meet both of those standards. And there you have it, this week's tip on how to become an SEO professional. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be updated every time we update the channel. Thank you, have a great day. Peace.